Hey everyone, Matt Bailey here from Rochester, New York with my dog Diesel. You are watching TJV on YouTube. Enjoy. <laughs> Diesel, weasel, diesel. It's another new day, man. It's another new day. It's another new day. Did you wash your hands yet, man? You didn't wash your hands. Hey. Don't call me out, man. Come on. You ready for the day? <laughs> You're really so nervous around cameras still. Man, it's been like, what? Nine years already? Ten? Eight? Eight years somewhere in there? Still don't like the camera, man. I'm not much of a camera person. It's more Chevy still, you know? He likes it. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, windy day out here. Gorgeous means beautiful and gorgeous all at the same time. It's an amazing thing. Here's our load. It's a load of very fancy lumber. I had to put it under my very fancy tarps. And I'm taking my fancy lumber all the way down to Rogers, Minnesota. That's just west of Minneapolis. And I deliver it there and I still don't know if I have a reload or not or I might just head home empty from there. It's about six, six hours home from there. We'll see. We'll see what happens for now. Let's get on the road. We've got a full day of driving to get there. Right now we are in Saskatchewan, Canada still. We picked this lumber up in Alberta, Canada and we drove about 650 miles yesterday. I have about another 650 to do today. That's just under 1,100 kilometers. So I probably won't make it all the way there today. I just won't have the hours for it. Once I cross into the US, I'm on the US hours of service and their regulations down there prevent truckers from making money. <laughs> so you can't get as far. Uh, you gotta stop longer. You gotta take mandatory breaks. I'm not complaining. It's still an all, it's still an all right system. It's just it's, I like Canada's system a lot better. I think it works better up here. But our our cities and civilizations are a lot further apart than in the U.S. In the U.S., you know, you can just bounce around from town to town. Here, you know, it's like seven hours from one city to the next city. So it's it's a big open country. Maybe that's why it's a little more slack because you got to get further to get anywhere here. All right, let's get on the road. Oh well, yeah, what town are we in here? What town is this? Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Google, we're in Francis, Saskatchewan. So we're close to the border. We're gonna cross from uh, Portal, North Portal, Saskatchewan into Portal, North Dakota. Probably about an hour or so. Welcome to the United States of America. Just crossed. So we're now in the state of North Dakota. We're in a little bit of a hurry. We've got to get to Rogers, Minnesota, and it's going to take pretty much every minute that I got left on my e-log. It's going to be a day to give her, just a give her kind of day. If I can find the right turning lane, here we go. Do that every time I come to this Flying J here in Minot, I always pull into the wrong turning lane. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Let's wash this window. Let's grab some fuel, some diesel exhaust fluid. Don't want to take too long. We're in a hurry. Don't even need to run inside. I just had a coffee a little while ago once I crossed into the US, so I'm good and wired. I'm just ready to, oh, oh, I went too far. There's these two pumps here again. I think in winter time they put winter diesel. Okay, and there's a guy going to drive right behind me right now. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea. All right, go exit the entrance. Don't... Uh, there you go. Okay. All right, I just have to go back a few feet. That was a terrible squeegee. Terrible. There we go. At least we got the bugs off. So I've got to give uh, my customer a call soon. Uh, I'll probably do that before I leave. I'll do that at my next stop. Uh, 
let them know that we are on the way and on schedule and I would like to get unloaded tomorrow morning. Earlier the better. What's this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. You know, if you use your signals, even in the parking lot, it does help with the movement of traffic. You know, I got points against me on my driver's license test because I didn't use my turn signal in a gravel parking lot. Yep, that was five points against me. It is the law that you have to use your signals even when you're in a parking lot to signal to other drivers what you're doing. Turn left and then turn left in 30 meters. Just keep that in mind. It does help a lot. Otherwise, nobody knows where you're going, what you're thinking, what you're doing. The signals are so easy to use, yet so many people get so mad when you ask them to use them, right? <laughs> what do you mean, use my signals? You should know. You should be able to read my mind. You should know what I'm doing. Isn't it obvious? Look at me. No, it's not obvious. It's never obvious. Use your turn signals. Even in the parking lots here in Carrington, North Dakota. I stopped here quite often. There's this funny little roundabout in front of us. We're gonna avoid that for now. Delay that fun till later. And we're gonna pull into Casey's truck stop. Find a spot to park. I need to take my half hour break. The United States government says I need a 30 minute break. And I'm a guest, so I will obey their rules. Don't want to make them angry. I'd like to come visit again. So I'll just find this one back here. Diesel needs to go out anyway. Diesel. Diesel, this is your time to shine, man. It's all about you, buddy. How's it make you feel? How's it make you feel? Tell the good people. Tell the good people. Am I annoying you? Huh? Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> okay, so... 30 minutes. Guess I should let the e-log know I'm here. There we go. Alright, Diesel, you ready for this? You ready for this? I guess it would help if I'd unlock the door. Come on, buddy. Use all the steps, okay? All of them. Or just three of them, whatever. It's a little windy out here, so excuse the wind noise. The load is all still here and looking good. Diesel. We got about 25 minutes left. Do your thing, man. That's a good spot. I would pick that pole too. Now it's your pole. There's always this huge open area of perfectly mowed grass behind this truck stop. I wonder who mows it. What kind of mower do they use? Am I getting old? Those are the questions I'm asking. Let's see if we can find our way through here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Diesel, hey. Diesel. He's busy. Can we go? I want to show him something. Come here, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Careful, careful. Your leash is only so long. I want to go see what that is over there. That's different. They used to have a different truck there. They changed it this year. This was not here last time. I remember. There was a bigger truck here, wasn't there? That's just like half a pickup. Pretty cool though, I guess. I wouldn't mind having a trailer like this. This would be very handy. No, Diesel, you can't go in there. No. Oh, <laughs> it's not a real dog, man. <laughs> he thinks it's a dog. <laughs> What's his name? Why is he up there?
Well, the scale's open just into Minnesota here. Let's see if they want to see me a little closer or not. I am a little heavy today. Let's watch these arrows above the road in front of me here. Left arrow means bypass. If it goes to the right, then I gotta go scale. No, they don't want to talk to me. Good, I don't want to talk to them either. Right, there's just one thing here. Yeah, they're telling me to bypass here as well. Perfect. You know, it's almost like I didn't even need to pull in here at all. Could have just flown right by on the road. There's an airport right over there to the right. I never even noticed that. Get out of here before DOT changes their minds. Got about three and a half or so hours, three hours and a bit to go. We got just barely enough on our clock. Should be able to make it right there. I might park on the street right in front of the customer zone there for them first thing in the morning. Hopefully they allow parking there. Because uh, I'm going to be out of hours. <laughs> might have to stop sooner. Here's my exit. We're in Rogers, Minnesota. I have 14 minutes to park. 400 meters, turn left on Main Street, NN101. Let's hope I can find parking. Well, we're just gonna say this. I'm going to find parking because I don't got time to go elsewhere. But that's okay, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, and I can just park right at the customer. That's, otherwise, I wouldn't have risked it like this. I would never put myself in the situation where I have no other option. Uh, I can just go and park right there. And there we go. The day is complete. That sign right there says no parking past this sign. It actually says no parking to the east of here, but we're facing east. So we're as close as we can get. Customer is right here, ready for them first thing in the morning. We'll get unloaded as quickly as we can and head up to Duluth. I'm already all ready for bed, so you'll just have to wait to see me till tomorrow morning. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another one. Make a new video every day. Take care, everybody. Never fear, Alvin's here. You're watching TJV.